To get your iOS device working with iOS switch control mode, you'll first need to pair your device and your Tecla Shield. Make sure the Tecla Shield indicator light is flashing white. First, go into settings, click on Bluetooth, and turn it on. The iPad is now searching for the Tecla Shield device. Once it's found, you'll see Tecla Shield dose show up along with a few random numbers. Click Tecla Shield dose. You'll see on the Tecla Shield the light will start to change and pulsate. Once you see Tecla Shield show up under My Devices as connected, you can proceed to the next step. Click on General and then Accessibility. Scroll down to the Interaction category and tap on Switch Control. The first step is to assign actions to your switches. Connect the switches you'll be using the Tecla Shield, and in this case we've already connected a button, and select Switches. Then add new switch and choose external. And then hit the switch that you've already connected to your Tecla Shield. Here you can name the switch and if not it will be called switch1 if you don't save a name. Press save and then assign a switch control function. At least one switch should be assigned as a select item. Other functions you can assign are move to next item or additional device functions like home button or Siri. You can repeat this for all your switches and assign different functions. You can assign up to five additional switches with the Tecla Shield, each with different functions. Once you're done assigning switches, go back to Switch Control and turn it on. Once this is activated, you'll see a frame appear that will move through the different items if Auto Scan is enabled. In this case, it is. AutoScan allows you to control your iOS device using a single switch. Under Switch Control, we have several suggested settings. If using AutoScan, which in this case with a single switch we are, you can set up the scanning time, the pause time for the first item of a screen, the number of loops that a frame will make around a screen before it disappears, as well as AutoTap, which allows you to automatically open an item when you click on it. Otherwise, a menu will pop up and then you'll have to select tap to open the item. We also suggest to turn hold duration and ignore repeat off. For the gliding cursor speed, we've set ours to 30. This is used in point mode where you can emulate a touch event on the screen by choosing an X and Y coordinate. For more information, check out the step-by-step -step user guide available on our support page at gettecla.com.